end of September, let's do a quick garden tour. These are some of my like propagation, transplanting projects, and a couple of trees that I don't know yet what I'm doing with. Uh, the two smaller raspberries not doing so well. The two bigger ones are doing pretty good. I have no idea how that fig tree cutting's going, but it's there. Right here, we got a sweet potato bed. I got rid of all of the green beans that were in here, so now it's just sweet potatoes. These were free plants that I planted in July, and we're going to see if I'll get sweet potatoes out of them. And that's also the same right here. These are also sweet potatoes. Here in this bed, I had to get rid of all of the zinnias. They flew blew over in the hurricane. And then we got, still we have like the spinach slowly popping up through here. We have the sugar beets here. And it's got like one potato plant popping up there. And then my, these are sugar snap peas and I started getting some and I've been snacking on them and I think I prefer sugar snap peas over the snow peas, FYI. Over here in these beds, um, <clears throat> these front rows are radishes. Looks like the spinach didn't come up and it looks like maybe some carrots. Have germinated back there so we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on these beds I have no idea what those plants are that just kind of popped up here that actually looks like a sweet potato plant yeah and I don't know what that is next to it that's why I planted carrots so yeah we'll see what happens there and my blueberry plants right here, the, these four, they look like they're going pretty strong and doing good so far. In this bed, my uh, mustard greens, you know, they seem to be doing pretty good. All of the beets that I planted in here, I mean, they have little sprouts, but nothing seems to be happening. They are not growing as well as the sugar beets that I planted over there in that bed. Um... Yeah, but all of my peas over there is snow peas, and then I've got some sugar snap peas. I just don't know how well some of these are going to do because they all blew down really, really bad um, with the hurricane. These are my Adirondack blue potatoes. I didn't hill them. I don't know when they'll be ready. This was an experiment because they were, um, you know, I planted them kind of late, so I don't know what's going to happen here, but they seem to be doing pretty good. In this long bed, I've got all these radishes that are popping up. They're looking good. And I think, you know, because I said, like, I did, like, the tape of, like, the radishes, and then in between them, I planted, like, the broccoli and the cauliflower. I'm not I'm sorry, cabbage. So that's what I think. Like where you see the gaps. Like that should be, I think, broccoli. Because it's in, in the middle of the space. That is how I planted this bed. So it looks like the seeds are popping up. Now we just got to see if they will grow. Yeah, this bed, nothing's happening here. Um... I've tried planting lettuce in here several times, radish, and and just like nothing's really popping up over here. Um, I might try do just another planting of some seeds, just see if anything will grow, or I might just cover it up and call it a season. I haven't decided. All right, and this perennial bread here is all my beautiful thyme and strawberries and raspberries. They are all growing and looking nice chives sage there in the corner all the marigolds in this bed it's just kind of starting to fizzle off my basil 
is going to flower. The pepper plants are starting to just kind of, I think they're just starting to die off. Uh, my cherry tomato plants, they all pretty much got spent, blew over in the hurricane. Those tomato plants, they're, they're still going. Um, I might get a few more tomatoes out of them. And then as you can see, I have peas along the trellis that are, that they all blew off again with the hurricane. So I keep propping them up on the trellis and they keep falling back over. So we're just going to see what happens. Oh, and I wanted to share this. My Uncle Paul gave me these culverts and I am turning them into raised beds. So obviously I'm not planting in them this year, but they will have plants in them in 2025. Right now I'm just working on, <laughs> I'm trying to fill these suckers up because that would cost a lot of money to fill this up with soil. All the, the peas, the basil, and the peppers, they're all doing pretty good here. And look, I'm actually, looky, looky, my cilantro is starting to come up. So that's exciting. But yeah, this, is, uh, this has been a pretty good bed. And then right here next to it, this was my salad bar bed. Uh, some of the tape lettuce that I did here, some of it's coming up, some of it isn't. I had another row of lettuce, looks like it didn't come up at all. A couple more rows of different lettuces. Whatever this row was, that didn't come up. These two rows of radishes did, and it looks like the kale is starting to come up over here. So I might try planting a different variety of lettuce down these, um, these empty spaces. My collard greens are looking pretty good. Over here, um, I have the snow peas along that trellis and also that back trellis. I do not have any sprouts coming up of the potatoes that I planted there. Hey, garden kitty. Who's a baby girl? And all of my zinnias that were in here have, oh, they were blown over from the hurricane as well. All right, this poor pepper bed. Um, all those little pepper plants. Looks like they're not making it. I'm just whatever they're just riding it out and uh, my cherry tomato plants are doing pretty good they're starting to produce some little tomatoes here and uh i am getting you know a good amount of uh jalapenos from these were all given to me for free so another another good bed and then right over here still got all this basil and all these peppers, jalapenos, and then I still got these, uh, I think cayenne peppers, or yeah, I think they're starting to, starting to turn. But look at these. My Thai chili peppers are starting to change color. How cool is that? I don't know what I'm going to do with those couple of Thai chili peppers, but we will figure it out. <laughs> oh, this poor messy bed. Uh, we got a lot of sage. Thyme, rosemary, tarragon, oregano, chives, lemon balm, all of that is starting to grow in here along with our blackberry bushes. These blackberry bushes are like forever long. I'm going to need to, um, to get these pruned probably here within the next month. But yeah, this is my other perennial bed and it is growing and looking good except for all these hoses i need to get this cleaned out since i showed you a sneak peek of my uh culvert raised beds we are building these uh retaining walls our boards are crooked we know that that's because we bought cheap wood it was they were all deformed and twisted to save money so but we're building these retaining walls and these next year I'm going to be also having them as raised garden beds all along this side too. That is what we have going on in the garden at the end of September. It is really slow right now. Um, the hurricane really did uh, knock down a lot of the things and I think with all of the rain 
Uh, we got about nine inches of rain here. Um, and so I think it's <laughs> some of the things that are not being handled very well from all that moisture that we had. Um, so I'm just, I'm not really expecting much for the rest of this fall season. I'm just going to be planting very, just whatever seeds I have left over, maybe fill up some garden beds and just kind of, I'm just going to kind of enjoy the, the closing out of this year. I'm not expecting any large harvests or anything, but I am hoping that I'm going to be getting more salads and peas and a little bit more peppers and things like that until our first frost. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Have a blessed day.